Yo, what's going on everybody? TK Gamer here. Welcome back to another NBA 2K17 What If video. This is one of the craziest news of the NBA offseason. The New York Knicks just came out and said they are not, no one's untouchable, not even Kristaps Porzingis on the New York Knicks. So this could mean that Kristaps could be in a deal this offseason to get rid of him and basically just blow up that whole New York Knicks team because they're obviously trying to get rid of Carmelo, but he's got that trade clause. So they're thinking about buying him out, but Kristaps Porzingis, the guy could be on the trade market, the huge, how tall is he? He's 7'3", has one of the biggest upsides in the NBA. He's how old? 21 years old, so much more to prove, and he's one of the best young players in the NBA. So what if he goes to the Boston Celtics? There have been many rumors that obviously the Celtics need a rim protector, or rebounder. So why not go to the Boston Celtics? So this team would look nasty. Obviously, Chris Dobbs is going to develop many years into the future. Him and Isaiah Horford and then Gordon Hayward if they bring him in the offseason. Then a top three draft pick, which they might have to trade, but still, it would be Isaiah Thomas, Avery Bradley, Jake Fodder, Chris Stops, and Al Horford. This team would be unbeatable for, for the future, especially if they can lock up Isaiah Thomas. Look at that huge win against the Nets. But if you guys know, the Boston Celtics obviously need rebounding. One of the worst rebounding teams in the NBA this past year, and it showed in the playoffs when they couldn't really rebound against Trisha Thompson in the playoffs. But Kristaps Porzingis is on the trade block. What are the New York Knicks thinking? What are they doing? I can see trading Carmelo Anthony to build around Kristaps Porzingis, but trading away your future, trading away the guy you should be building your team around just makes no sense at all. I don't get what they're thinking. Even putting Kristaps Porzingis' name in the rumors of trying to trade him, that is crazy. And that is said, Boss Celtics got all the assets to get him. They got first round picks, second round picks. They have two future ones that the 76ers gave them. And then they have this year's. They have so many picks to give the New York Knicks if they want to blow up that team and really refunction that team. And this would be crazy for the Celtics to get first stops or any team to get Porzingis in reality because he's a huge huge addition to any team and has one of the biggest upsides in the NBA as you guys we start off really bad at the beginning but now we're starting to pick it up getting the team chemistry right there Isaiah Thomas Kristaps lobs all day long so I'm going to continue simulating to the end of the season as you guys see our first game against the Knicks we lose by nine points but Kristaps obviously is going to be a huge addition to this team especially in the playoffs when you need that rim protector and then Kristaps uh, stretches out the floor when Al Horford's down low really good matchup for the Boston Celtics to get Chris Stops, I would love this deal personally because I'm a Celtics fan. And it would just be crazy to have Porzingis on the team. So, we're sitting around 500 basketball right now. But I'm going to continue to... Continue to simulate to the end of the season. I'll see you guys once we're done. Okay, guys, so here at the end of the season, LeBron James wins MVP, averaging 25 points, 10 and a half rebounds, and 10 assists. Almost a triple double for LeBron. Joel MP wins rookie of the year. Corey Joseph, six man, Hassan White said he was player of the year. Nicole Yoke is most improved. And Tyron Lue wins coach of the year. So take a look here. All NBA first teams, all NBA second. No one there. Okay. And then no one there for all NBA 13. That's interesting, especially Isaiah Thomas. I wonder why he didn't get in there. But we finished fifth in the East. And New York just almost made the playoffs. They were game out. You take away the star player and they almost make the playoffs. It makes no sense. But obviously, the Celtics, number one seed, add Chris Stops, don't lose anything except assets. Fifth seed doesn't make that much sense. I think this team would be way better. Isaiah Thomas, 27 points, didn't make an all NBA team. Really surprising. Kristaps, 14. I'd see that much higher in the future. Avery Browley, 12. Al Horford, 12. Uh, who led us on rebounding was Horford. Assist was Isaiah. And now into the NBA playoffs. Let's see how well we do. First round going against the Washington Wizards. As it looks like we're going to come away with the victory in five games. And face the Cavs. Which I don't see us getting by. As okay we do. We get by the Cavs somehow. Kristaps 12-12. and 12. LeBron had a triple-double. Wasn't enough to get past us. As now we go on to the NBA Finals. We're facing the Spurs. Don't know how we go on to the NBA Finals. We lose in five games to the Spurs. David Leisure Finals MVP. What? What about Kawhi Leonard? Kawhi was injured and this team still beat us. Surprising. I don't know what's going on with 2K. But this would be a crazy trade rumor. It's obviously a crazy trade rumor. But if you went to the Celtics and he does get traded, it would be so crazy. So, tell me guys in the comment section where you think Kristaps Porzingis is going to go. And thank you guys for watching. Um... 
Make sure to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. So thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy T Gamer Tommy. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.